Hello YouTube. Thought I'd give you a quick little gander, very quick, of my um, pipe tobacco cellar as it is now. As you can see, it's very, very small. Um, <laughs> but it is, um, uh, I don't have that many tins of anything. I just have one tin of something. And this is basically just, I'm getting started in the, uh, in the cellaring, uh, acquirement thing or building up a cellar. I've, uh, managed to get some GLP tobaccos up there these guys, which uh, I found clunking around in Sweden, and I was very pleased because I wasn't sure that I was ever going to get to uh, try GLP's tobaccos, but I found a place there, and I got them, uh, probably this guy, Chelsea Morning, will be uh, the first to get cracked from this um, cellar because I, ha I am trying to hang on to the Dunhills as long as I can. Might actually go for uh, my mixture 965, open that, and uh, oh, look at that. Have I? Well, I did put a date there. Yeah, you can see that. But yeah, and of course, I have this Orlick. English original, which I found out that they don't make anymore, and it's not available from the Danish pipe shop anymore, so I might hang on to that one for a uh, special occasion, but yeah, very small cellar, this is the life of a student, not working, <laughs> uh, so anything I scrape together, I get a can now and then. Of something or a tin. I might get some uh, Mac Baron stuff early or, or later on, but um, here are the stuff or the things that I have uh, opened up and uh, I'm smoking right now. So we still have some Orlick, Orlick Golden Sliced, um, the old dark fired that I don't really smoke, so that's gonna sit there, and some clan tobacco. Some inexpensive aromatic stuff. It's pretty good. And we got some cherry tobacco here in the back. And then um, that one there is uh, the Peterson mix. What was it? Irish Irish whiskey? Yeah, that one. And I still have some here. It's just, it's really biting my tongue. And I'm not smoking it that much. I'm almost... Finished with the old Dublin here. It's almost gone, just a few little scrapes at the bottom. And after that is done, I'm either going to crack open a tin or I'm going to move on to this massive uh, jar of uh, Davidoff royalty, which is kind of like, kind of like the old Dublin, but uh, a little softer, maybe I, for some reason, I thought of uh, bacon when I was smoking it the last time. It's kind of like a bacon, buttery smell or taste you get from it. But yeah, that's about it. That is my pot de bacon cellar in the building stages. But this is what it is now. Cool. See you later, YouTube.